right, today we're going to be uh, playing with the K-Pro. Uh, I'm going to show you how to transfer files uh, in and out of the K-Pro using the serial interface, okay? And we're going to be transferring it to a laptop computer, a modern laptop, right? Windows 11. And so we're going to be using a serial port. And the way that we do that uh, uh, is using one of the uh, serial adapters. Uh, I'll show a picture here. Uh, it's just a serial to RS-232 type adapter, 9 pin, and then you need an adapter to go to 25 pins. And then in my case, I also needed to put in a gender changer that does the 2-3 swap pins, 2-3 swaps. So uh, that's you can see here in the picture. All right, so now here on the uh, K-Pro, we're going to be using a program called Kermit, okay? And... Uh, Kermit allows you to transfer files back and forth. And here it is. If we hit question mark, it tells us things we can do. We can connect. Uh, we can erase files. Uh, we can get a help. Uh, log in, log out of the terminal. So this is this was to be used to you to dial into networking, you know, dial into BBSs and stuff like that. But we can receive a file and we can send a file. So those are the two commands we're going to be using today: receive and send. All right, um, now uh, let's exit this because, let's see here, I think you have to type exit. All right, so a K-Pro, when you start it up, it defaults to a baud rate of 1200. So if we just ran Kermit now, it'd be operating at 1200. But we can change the baud rate uh, using a program uh, that KPro supplied called baud M. Baud M was to change the baud rate of your modem. Baud P was to change the baud rate of a serial printer. There's two connectors on the back. I'll show you a picture here of the two connectors. You want to be using the connector that says the I.O. and the other one says printer. Don't use the printer one, use the I.O. one. And if I do the baud thing here, if I do baud, oops, can't spell, B-A-U-D, B A E D M, okay. It says, ah, what, what do you want? And you have selections from 110 to 19.2. Now, in my particular case, 19.2 is just a fail. It just doesn't work at all. But you can go up to 9600. That works really, really well. So we're going to hit G, and it says, so be it. <laughs> so now the it sets the clock parameters in the data generator. There's a clock generator for the for the serial I/O chips. It's now set it to 90 9600 baud. Okay. Okay. So now if we go into Kermit, uh, we are set to 9600 baud. All right. Okay. So now we need to do something on the laptop. So let's go take a look at that. Okay. On the laptop, I'm going to be using a program called TerraTerm. T E R A t term, and it is a serial. So I'm going to set instead of uh, over internet, I'm going to Ethernet. I'm going to set serial. I'm going to say OK. And uh, there's a setup. You can set up the uh, serial port. Uh, we have COM5. You change the COM rate, COM, whatever your USB dongle is. And speed, it defaults to 9600, so we're already good to go. So we can just cancel out of this. All right. So if we want to send a file, all right, we're going to do file. Uh, we're going to do transfer the Kermit protocol, and we're going to do a send. And then you can pick a file you want to send out. Okay. So let's say we want to send out the file, uh, send out the file dump. Okay. So we'll click on dump, say open, and now it's waiting. It's waiting for the uh, for the K Pro. All right. Okay, over here I hit R, which is receive, and uh, it will see if it can negotiate between the two. And there it goes. It says, ah, dump.com, okay. And then it gives a read error, and it does this once in a while on my computer, okay? And so I don't know why, uh, but it just is a hiccup, just kind of a weird thing. So I'm going to go back out, I'm going to do a BOD. Uh, bod M, I'm going to do G, I'm going to do a Kermit, all right, and we'll be all set to go again. And then if I do an R, um, 
it should be able to negotiate the two things here. We might have to restart everything. I think we have to restart everything. So we need to come back over here and we'll say cancel and we'll say file transfer Kermit send uh, let's see we wanted to send dump okay so now uh, we can go back to the Kermit we'll hit R and it should negotiate and there it goes it now it's receiving and now it's zooming along and it's received it's complete it's already on the disk so that was a short little file it didn't take long at all okay so let's do it with a longer file uh, let's go back up to here uh, let's see here i need to get things out of my way all right i will do a file transfer kermit Re, uh, send. Uh, let's send ASM. That's a bigger file. All right. And then we come down here. We'll hit R. And uh, there we go. It says uh, ASM. Now it's starting to do it. Up here, you can watch the uh, progress bar go. So, you know, nice 600 baht, it's not too bad. Um, so we're receiving down here. It doesn't give you a status over here. It just says receiving, but you can watch the status as you watch the packets. So the packets are, packets are increasing. And up here, we're almost done. And we'll come back down here and it says completed. So that was super, super simple. Now we can go the other way, okay? So we can do a, uh, let's see here, how do you do it? Uh, question mark. Uh, we can do send. Uh, and then we need to actually say the file name, okay? So we can say send, uh, copy, uh, let's see, send. I know D is on there, d.com. So we're gonna send, uh, yeah, d.com is, is a program. So if I say send d.com, it's now trying to receive it up here. So up here we have to say, um, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? There we go. Say file transfer Kermit receive. And there we go. It says d.com. And you can see here we're, we're sending packets. The packet thing is increasing and the packet thing up there is increasing. Done. We're done. So it's, it's automatically saved it. So that's all there is to transferring files back and forth on, on the Kermit. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Works really, really good. Um, I was able to transfer to a bunch of files that I couldn't find a disk, image, disk images for. And I was able to transfer them over with this. Uh, if we... Uh, if we exit, then uh, do a directory, you can see that those things that we that we sent across with that ASM was 64 records long, uh, eight kilobytes. Didn't take long. And uh, we sent over uh, dump as well. Dump was only uh, two kilobytes long, so that was a super fast one. Anyway, there you go. Using Kermit, transferring between two things, and just like the old days.